hear your voices for what shall I render what shall I for he has gone What shall I render? What shall I? Yes. For he has done. What shall I render? What shall I? In suje. For he has done. So very much for me. Put your hands together and celebrate Jesus. Celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready to celebrate the Lord tonight? Are you ready to dance unto the Lord tonight? If you are ready, can you make a joyful shout unto the Lord? Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Shout hallelujah, 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 hey, hey. Shout hallelujah, 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 hey, hey. Hold on. Hallelujah. How many of you know this song? How many of you know this song? So can we sing it without the instrument now? Hallelujah, hey. Everybody say Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout, shout, hallelujah. 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 Shout, hallelujah. Shout, hallelujah. 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 Shout, hallelujah. Shout, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, hey. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, hey. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, hey. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallel
Shout the loudest, hallelujah. If you know and you're convinced that your being alive is an act of our God, can you jump on your feet and shout hallelujah? Our 
Our God has indeed been awesome. Our God has been good to all of us. We have a few testimonies. We'll take as many as we can. And uh, if you hear your name, you come out so that you can share your testimony with the brethren. The first person is Josephine James from Kagoro Tawa. Dorothy Samuel from Kagoro Tawa as well. Adheri Waje from Kaduna. Yahare Ishaya from Gindiri Tawa. Tebita from Gindiri Tawa. Tebita Serio. Tokwashe Atom from Makrudi. Kezaya Abrakons from Kaduna. Hamisutuku. Kebi Mission Field. Isaac Deika from Kafanchan. Then um, Pastor Christy Hope Yakubu and Pastor Akimbawa. So I will, um, we need um, another microphone. Hello. Amen. Amen. You have one minute, please. Okay. So just take the testimony as briefly as you can. Praise the Lord. I'm Josephine from Kagoro Tower. I want to thank God for what God did in the life of my mother. On the 22nd of this month, when we were about having a crusade at Kagoro, I was there and they called me that I should come, that my mother fell down. So when my mother fell down, they took her to the hospital. She was unconscious. I went there and met my mother on the hospital bed. My mother was just lying down as if she's dead. So I began to call pastors from Throne Room Trust Ministry. I said they should please help me and join me in prayers. This is what is happening to my mother. To the glory of God, it's exactly one week today they discharged my mother from the hospital. I'm here to restore all the glory unto God because my mother is alive. Thank God for the God of Throne Room Trust Ministry. My promise is to God that I will never leave Throne Room Trust Ministry. This is where my faith is being found. I give God the glory. Amen. Your mom will not die. She will live to see her children's children unto the fourth generation. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can I, remove your mask. Thank you. Yeah. My, my name is Yakri Ishaya from Gindri Tower. I stand here to give thanks to God for healing me. And I've been treating a disease that the, the doctor said has affected my spine. And yesterday, as I was seated there, as daddy was praying, he said, there's somebody here that... Um, um, the vertebra is something is affected and, and the neck and the waist and so as he was praying he prayed as I was there you know uh, standing the pains just disappeared and from that time to this time I have not felt any pain anymore praise the Lord Amen I heard when daddy said that, when I listened to the tape, I heard that particular testimony. It happened yesterday in this sanctuary. So your testimony is life. Amen. The Lord preserve you. The year 2021, you will have more testimonies. In Jesus' name. This testimony is perfected in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Can we give a clap offering unto the Lord? The Lord is yet working out his testimonies in your life. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm Tabitha Cyril from Gindri Plateau State. Some few days to Christmas, I was on my way from Mangu to Gindri. Then an ambulance was in front of me. As a learner, I was trying to overtake him because I saw he was walking slowly. So at least I can overtake him, but a voice told me to go slowly. Even though I had some work to do, I just stayed behind, I obeyed. And some few uh, steps down, then uh, an oncoming J5 was coming, and it was coming in a hurry. So it hit that ambulance, and it was a ghastly accident. But I thank God for saving me. The voice that I had was Ethiopia and Seba. God gave Ethiopia and Seba for my sake. Praise the Lord. Did you hear the voice that she heard? That God gave Ethiopia and Sabia for her sake. So the Lord caused her to slow down and not overtake the vehicle. And just a few minutes after, there was a very serious accident and the Lord preserved her. The Lord will continue to direct your footsteps in safety. And the year 2021 will be a great year for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. My name is Alheri Waji. I attended a crusade that was held at um, Angwame Chibi, sometimes February this year. And Daddy prayed for the sick. He said somebody will be traveling out for a surgery. But the person... I think he said the person shouldn't go, but if he go, he'll come back successfully. So I came into the prayer, the prophecy. I went for surgery on the 3rd of April this year, a major surgery, and I came out successfully. I came to say thank you, God. Her testimony happened in Kaduna, in the, in the uh, crusade that, happened, that took place in Kaduna. That was in February, right? Amen. Uh, there was a throne room crusade in Kaduna. So the, so the Lord spoke through our daddy about her surgery. And she went and she came out successfully. We thank God for your life and we pray that your healing is perfected in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. My name is Tokwasi Aton from Benue. I want to thank God for his goodness and mercy over my life and family. I want to thank God for his goodness and mercies over my life and family. Especially years back, I was coming here praying, but not really know my, knowing my left or right. Each time I see somebody, I forget easily. Tell me something today, the next minute, I will forget it and I will forget it sincerely without any obstruction. My brain was away. And why one of the uh, retreats when we came, Daddy Nan said, there is somebody who your brain has been hidden in the coven. And he commanded that brain to come back. That very year, I felt it that the brain came back. After two years, he still prophesied that the brain has not been activated yet. And truly, I weren't, it weren't functioning at all. I was still behaving like a goat like that. I really thank God. After two years, now the brain activated back. And I really want to thank God for that. Also, also I want to thank God for his message yesterday. While I was coming on Sunday, I was so excited when I reached here. I never knew that he still had another thing to do in my life. I woke, I slept one day, woke up with my rib paining me. I don't really understand why it was paining me. But this rib was so paining me so hard as if they quite held something this side, put something this side and this side. That each time I bend, it would be so, so paining me. Prayed over it, but it weren't working. But yesterday, it was settled. He was even emphasizing that on your left rib, that that thing is as if somebody has done something there or somehow you slept or something. And I slept, woke up, 
find myself with that. But yesterday, I am fine. And I really want to thank God for that miracle in my life. In Jesus. Amen. I'm not sure we fully understood her first testimony. Amen. So let me re-echo that testimony. What she said in the first testimony is that she was alive, but her brain was not with her. She could not remember anything. Okay, so when you tell her something, she will forget. When she meets somebody today, she will forget the person. She can't remember people's names. And she came here from Makodi, and daddy, the daddy prophesied that there's somebody here that her brain has been taken to the coven of witches. And the, and the daddy prophesied that let the brain return. And the brain returned. Amen? And the brain returned, but the brain was unactivated. And after some time, she came back to this sanctuary. And daddy prophesied again over her life and said, let that brain be activated. And the brain today is activated. Can we give a clap offering unto the Lord? It's a great testimony. It's indeed a great testimony. And it's only the Lord that can do this. So the Lord who has begun this good work in you will perfect it in the name of Jesus. I decree over your life that no witch or wizard will ever ever have anything to do with you again i release you to go and prosper in the name of jesus can we clap unto the lord for this testimony amen my name is kezia abraxon this morning on our way from kaduna to kafanchan we had a very serious accident i am my four sisters I just thank God for our lives. Amen. Um, when she was sharing the testimony, some other person said that he saw the car. It's a Honda car that had a head-on collision with a Hilux at Kagoro. At Zonkua, rather. At Zonkua. Honda end of discussion, right? This accident happened this morning as she was coming to throw room and she says you've never been here right so she has always wanted to come here for crossover so she made up her mind with her sisters and she was actually she, she actually drove the car and none of them had sustained any serious injury those that saw the car said that the car is a write-off they had a head-on collision Amen. May the Lord continue to watch over you. May he continue to preserve you. You will live and you shall not die. In the name of Jesus. The purpose wherein the Lord instructed and directed you to come for this crossover in this holy place shall be fulfilled in your life. Not just in your life but in the life of your three sisters. In the name of Jesus. Go and prosper. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's clap unto the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Dorothy Samuel. I have three testimonies, but I'll be first. Um, during this October conference, I came and Daddy made a declaration that anyone that is sick should come out. I came out after the prayers, I realized that I was healed. I had this problem of also I can't eat pepper. Each time I eat pepper, I have to take drug. But since when I came that day, I was able to eat pepper since from October to December. <laughs> Hallelujah. And also, during the conference on Tuesday, that, that was the second day. On our way back home, we had an accident. It was only the car that was damaged. All of us, nobody had any injury. <laughs> I 
And also the last one. During last year crossover, I came. I was battling with this spirit of fear. I told God that if you deliver me, I will come and give this testimony. And here am I today. I give God the glory. Amen. She was here during the October conference. As they were going on the Tuesday night of that conference, they had a very bad accident along the road. And she and every occupant of that car survived that accident. Amen. So the Lord has been faithful in her life. The Lord has watched over her. So the Lord who has begun this good work in you will perfect it. The Lord will continue to watch over you. The Lord will continue to keep you. The Lord will continue to preserve your life in the name of Jesus. That which he has ordained for you shall be made perfect in this season. Go into the year 2021 and prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Isaac. Okay. Praise the Lord. I'm Isaac Jake. I'm a staff of the ministry. My two testimonies, 25 and 26. On 25, I received a call concerning my father. It is the mercy of the Lord that God showed to us as a family, even at his old age. If not, I would stand here to say my father is going to be with the Lord. But God didn't allow it. God healed him, even still on the treatment, and I believe God will perfect the healing. The same day on that 25, our last one has an accident. I was called at the evening hour. I said, God, what is happening in our family? And even the accident has a dislocation on his hand and his leg, but right now he's going on to treatment, and I believe God will bring a perfect healing. On 26, I made up my mind not to go to the village. The family altar in my house is on salt today. And I said, God, this is a last salt today of the year. I will honor you to hold the last meeting with you at the family altar in my house. That's why I couldn't travel to the village. Just an hour to the five o'clock that we start the meeting. My wife, she went to the work, sound and healthy. She returned and she was resting. But at the twinkle of the eyes, my eyes, she started shouting, her life is going. And the real truth of it, if not God, I for lost my wife. I thank God for the, my daughters. Even at the point of the meeting, the battle is going on. I left my two daughters my, with their mother. They are there praying for her. And God intervened. My wife, she's held and healthy. I give God glory for that. Amen. His life is a life of testimonies. In the last few days, so much has happened. And in everything, the Lord delivered him, his wife, his mother, and members of his family. We release you today in the power and the might of these testimonies. That the Lord who has done this will continually be with you that the Lord will perfect that which he has done in the, in the life of your mother and in the life of your wife and in every member of your family. In the name of Jesus, we thank God for your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I, am, I will need an interpreter here, please. Uh, somebody that will interpret. He will speak in Aosa. And I need a second microphone. You, you want to speak English? Eh? No, he wants to speak out, sir. Yes. Uh, he speaks English, but he wants to. The testimony is very, 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 very interesting. Amen. So let him speak it in the language that he has a good command of. Amen. So you will interpret, right? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My thanksgiving is where I work at the mission field at Kambari on the 23rd of this month at around 9 in the morning 
9 a.m. I went to visit. I uh, went for a visit to in, at some houses. In Adawa, cafe in Kau Gida, say Akakira, and Akachi, and Rugo, and Zo, Yaro, and I carry Adigamutu. On my way back, I was called that my son is dead. I told them I left him playing, but how could they say that my son is dead? And I said to the, the Lord, may your name be praised. I went and met, I came back and met him wet with water. I took him inside the room and I locked in the room. And I asked everybody to go. Then an unction for prayer came upon me. And I began to pray. And it took me two hours. And the Lord brought him back to life. This thing that happens. It makes many people at the mission field, both Christians and Muslims and those who have no religion. They came and they were surprised and they were crying. And I borrowed a bike. I took him to the hospital thinking that there was an infirmity on him. And I was told that nothing happened to him. The nurse that checked on him that there was a Muslim. She said, Pastor, go home and continue to pray. And I came back home and continued to pray. Though the son cannot talk at that time, and his mouth cannot open. At 9 at night, it took me throughout the night. In the morning, he said, Daddy, give me water. I want to drink water. And I give God the praise. Can we give a clap offering unto the Lord for that testimony? You know, Daddy was sharing two days ago about two types of priesthood. Amen. The priesthood of the Messiah and the priesthood of Melchizedek. That in this season, that the, the two types of priesthood will be activated. One is the priesthood that goes with, both of them go with signs and wonders and great testimonies. That priesthood has been activated in the life of our brother. This is the boy, right? Amen. It's a sign and a wonder unto our generation. Can we give a clap offering unto the Lord? You shall not die, but you shall live to fulfill the will and purpose of God for your life. In the name of Jesus. Through the testimony of what happened in your life, shall men be won unto the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, through you and this testimony, the KB mission field shall be opened. In the name of Jesus, you are a sign and a wonder unto your generation. In Jesus' name. Amen. I release you with the unction of that which has been prophesied even in this sanctuary about the Messianic priesthood and the priesthood that goes with signs and wonders. These signs and wonders will never depart from your ministry in the name of Jesus. Go in the power of this might and of this unction and take over the mission fields in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we clap unto the Lord for that testimony? 
Amen. Pastor. Amen. This is your testimony. One minute. Eh? Try. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm here to thank God for his mercies and faithfulness over me and my household. I'm thanking him because three of my daughters right now are in the university. Two are studying medicine, the other one entrepreneurship. It is God's faithfulness. They all started after the death of my husband. The Lord has been faithful to us. Then the second one is, The Lord saved us. He saved me and my house from armed robbers. On the 1st of December, 2020, I drove out after breaking my fast in the house in the evening to just pick a few things at the shop. On my return home, the armed men were already waiting in my compound, four of them. As I drove in, packed my car. As the Lord will have it, quite unlike me, it's the first time I removed my car key, dropped it on my daughter's legs. I say, lock my car when you step out. I then stepped out immediately, closed my door. She was still seated in the car. Immediately, I heard somebody behind me stop there. As I turned, I saw a man with a gun. I screamed. When she heard me, she turned. She saw three men standing with guns. She locked herself immediately in the car, then hid herself somewhere in the car. She was putting on a white shirt but the Lord just kept her. They went to the car on three occasions, trying to open the four doors. They would touch every door on three occasions. Go back. They would use their phone touch, go around the car, searching. After I screamed, they hit me to the ground. The first thing they asked was, where is your daughter? You drove out with her. I was buying time and crying. They said, Madam, will you cooperate? Where is your daughter? I said, I just dropped her off in the hostel. They said, okay, get up, open your house. Money, whatever, they pick what they want to pick. But the main thing there is, the Lord is faithful. She was in that car. They went there on three occasions, but did not see her. His faithfulness kept her. After she stepped out, after they must have finished and left, people went there, they asked me, where is she? I said, she's in the car. They went to call her, she didn't even answer. But when I went, my sheep knows my voice, like the word said. I said, Hope, where are you? Step out, they are gone. She came out. The first thing she said is, Mommy, Daddy Kure's prayer kept me in this car. <laughs> I said, what? Because it was barely three days. Daddy prayed over that same vehicle. As he was praying, he said, Oh, you vehicle, you will listen to the word of the Lord through me. You will keep and defend whoever is in you. That was exactly what she reminded me. She said, that was what he said, and that is what kept her. Praise the Lord. He is faithful indeed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Um, the Lord is faithful. Our God is a good God. Our God has kept Pastor Christy Hope Yakubu all these years.
You didn't hear the first testimony. Maybe we don't know that she's a widow. Amen. But two of her daughters, the Lord has made it possible for them to be schooling overseas. They are studying medicine. Can we give a clap offering unto the Lord? And the third one is studying enter in, uh, entrepreneurship in a university in Nigeria. And the last daughter that was in the car, it's, um, it's in the military school in Abuja. Amen. The Lord has been faithful in her life. The faithfulness of the Lord will never depart from you. His faithfulness will never depart from your children. The Lord will continue to watch over you and continue to watch over your children. The Lord will never allow you to cry again in the name of Jesus. Go and prosper. The world is waiting for you and your children in Jesus' name. Can we give a clap offering unto the Lord? Amen. Prophet, I have to give you the mic. Amen. Okay. Somebody shout hallelujah. The testimony can only be complete with my wife. This is my wife, Rahila, and my name is Akinbawa. We left for the village to see my sick mother. She has been down for over months. But all the time, if I talk to her on the phone, I will tell her, Mama, I won't come because there are kidnappers on that road. She will tell me, don't come. It's better to be safe where you are than to fall into their hands. But that week, I just decided to go. But two days before I left for that journey, one of my daughters in Barking Lady had a dream. She called me. She said, Daddy, early in the morning around 6 a.m., she said to me, Daddy, I had a terrible dream that you were kidnapped and as if your life was taken away. I asked her, how does your life, how does your dreams look like? She says, our dreams always come true. So, but I just have to go on that journey. Until my mother died after the predicament before I knew why I had to go for that journey. Because I left, I went to the village, spent about five days with her. And then we left on Sunday after Sunday morning, early in the morning, we left the land, Takum, back to Jos. On our way coming, my wife noticed that the roads were empty. She said, why is it that the road looks empty? I said, it's a Sunday, everybody is in the church. So immediately we crossed the E.B. River, about 20 a 20 minutes drive from Ibi local government. I saw a man in the bush that peeped to the road. As I turned to my wife. I said, see evil. Because before I could say evil, the man jumped to the road. At almost at that door there, the distance with us, I was in my car, I was the one driving, my wife was in the front. And then we just saw the man just aim the AK-47 at us and began firing. Pa, 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 you know? I had it clearly, my spirit don't stop. I pursued him with a vehicle. He was shooting, I was coming. Unknown to me, there was, there was another man by the bush, by the left hand side. Of, my, of the driver's side was also shooting from the left hand side. There were two with AK-47. So I drove past that one. He went behind and he was shooting and the other one was shooting in the front. And I pursued him. I almost cleared him with a vehicle. 
And the car kept moving, but I never, I didn't know that they have gotten my brain box of the vehicle. So after about half a kilometer, the vehicle stopped. When the vehicle stopped, they followed us through the bush, came and kidnapped the two of us. They shot at our direction and they crossed the road to our side. I told them not to shoot again. We will do what they want. They asked us to follow them to the bush. We crossed the road. On getting to the other side of the road, about some few three to five minutes walk, they asked her to go back. She said she won't go without me. I asked her, I said, no, just, just go. She left. They took me into the bush. Now, without shoe on my leg, I started bleeding. It got to understand, I told them, I cannot longer walk. So inside of the bush, they called their master. The master came out from the bush, one terrible, evil man. Immediately, he looked at me and saw all my legs with blood, bleeding that I can't walk again. He spoke in Hausa, that one and by the Amfani, So he removed his jackknife and stabbed me here. But the knife didn't enter. He carried the knife to put on my throat. I held his hands. I told him, you can't kill me. It was like wrestling. He returned back the jackknife and brought out the machete from her back. And straight the, the machete over my head. I tried to bring my hand, but I heard the Lord says, if you bring your hand, you become a disabled man. So I left my head, I was shouting, Jesus. And then God turned the machete to flat, and then he hits my head. God is faithful. The, the miracle didn't stop there. When they realized, they asked me, what kind of a man are you that you don't want to die? Because the bullet didn't kill you. The jackknife didn't kill you, and the machete, God turned it upside down. So they carried me on Bajal machine to take me to their camp. On our way going to their camp, they saw a man that I didn't see standing on the road. They turn, they turn to the other side to link the second road. And we found, a, we saw a very mighty big cow at the center of the road without the owner. So they have to take us, they have to take me to the bush where it was in their camp. The bush was a strange bush for them and also for me. So we spent two nights in that bush with them, without food, without water, without only little Sprite they would give me for the day and one short small bread. But the testimony is this. My brothers, my sisters, more especially the three of them that sat over there, kept communicating and the second day was the national prayer in Abuja and daddy prophesied that that night will be my last night with them in that camp and that was my last night on the, on the third day they have to release me in the evening and they ask me for forgiveness. Yeah. 
And today, Adehi Akampe, bullet no kill me, knife no kill me, cutlass no kill me, because I have Jehovah. Greater is she that is in me than they that are out there with their AK 47. God bless you for your prayers. God bless you for your love. Many of you fasted and prayed all over the world. My family house in Takum became, became a church. The whole community and pastors we are just gathering there praying. And my mom turned to ask them, where have they taken me to? But I lost her a week after I was kidnapped. And we did a successful burial. And today, I glorify the name of the Lord. And I want to say thank you for Pastor Beatty, Pastor Bulus, Pastor Jonathan, Josiah Abu. And I want to say a great thank you that to Daddy Kure, to Mommy. God Almighty will bless you and bless the church of God. Somebody shout, yeah! Amen. I was in Port Harcourt when I heard of uh, that incident. And the Holy Spirit re reminded me of, a, of the scripture. And that scripture is that what happened to Dagon when the Ark of Covenant was taken to the house of Dagon. And I began to pray in that manner that that which happened to Dagon will happen to those people in the bush. And from this testimony, that was exactly what happened. The Lord went inside the bush and the Lord defended his altar. The Lord defended him in the bush. Can we give a clap offering unto the Lord? He that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. The Lord be praised and be glorified. Affliction shall not arise a second time. It will never. The year 2021 and indeed the next decade shall be glorious for you. Shall be glorious for your family. In the name of Jesus. Go and prosper. In Jesus name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Just a few announcements. The Apocalypse, the Apocalypse Theological College is informing us that the application forms for admission is out for the different programs for the 2021 academic session. So if you are interested, please go to the registrar's office in the school and get a form for the various courses, the diplomas, the certificate courses, and the degree courses. They are all available. Then um, for this meeting tonight, we are trying to maintain the COVID-19 protocol. As you can see, the seats are specially um, situated. Okay, we try to separate us to keep uh, the social distance. So with that in mind, we don't want this hall to be fuller than it is right now. So we have made provisions in the other sanctuary across the river. Whatever you're seeing here, you will see there. The big screen is there as well. It's an audiovisual facility that has been set up there. So please, the ushers, please, you are to direct people, instead of staying outside in the cold, let them go over to the other facility. Whatever we do here, they will do there as well. The bread, the communion will also be taken over there. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please can we rise on our feet tonight. As to raise our voices to the heavens. These are the doings of the Lord. And it's marvelous in our lives. Can you lift up your hands to the heavens and worship the Lord for all that He has done? He has done great and mighty things. We've come to you tonight in worship. We've come to you tonight to lift up our voice in worship from the beginning of the year to this time of the day. You kept us. You kept us. Can you lift up your voices tonight? And give the Lord all the glory that He deserves. We thank you. The Gazuchiata Birnin Zuchiata Zami Kayabo Kauba. Gijina Zami Kayabo Gamai Che Tona Amen At this time uh, to do the introductions and the welcome I would like to invite uh, Professor Ai Sodingi Can we give a clap offering unto the Lord? He will do the introductions and he will welcome us to this meeting this evening. We may be seated, please. Praise the Lord. I, Professor Ibrahim Abbas Sodangi of the Kaduna State University and one of the leaders of the Throne Room Trust Ministry, Stand here on behalf of our Father in the Lord, Apostle Emmanuel, Apostle Dr. Emmanuel Nuhukure, to welcome everyone that is here for this crossover night. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to start from specifics to general. I know that there are a lot of dignitaries that are here seated. But tonight, we don't have the luxury of time. So I'm going to take a sample of the dignitaries. Not a random sample, but a purposive sample that we have prayerfully taken to introduce on behalf of every other person. But I want to assure everybody that is here present that you are distinguished for distinction in Jesus' name. I want to introduce to us our brother in the Lord, Senator Danjuma Tela La, the senator representing Zone 3 in Kaduna State. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. Please join me as we welcome former Senator Philip Arua and his wife. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. I also want us to do welcome to retired Commissioner of Police, Mrs. Dimka. You're welcome in the name of the Lord. You're welcome. I want to introduce our brother in the Lord, Honorable Laboran Maku, former Minister of Information. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. Please be, join me as we welcome our brother, Dalio Gums, our own Daps, and his wife. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome. We also want to gladly introduce our mother. We have Pastor Mrs. Naomi David Arua, the Board Secretary of the Throne Room Trust Ministry. You are welcome. You are welcome. Permit me also, brothers and sisters, to introduce Mrs. Esther Kantiok, you're welcome, our dear sister. You're welcome. 
Permit me to introduce Mrs. Saronia Meyaki. Mrs. Saronia Meyaki, we welcome you in the name of the Lord. You are highly welcome. Also, permit me to introduce Mrs. Felicia Thompson. Mrs. Felicia Thompson, former interim administrator of Zangon Katap local government. You are welcome. Join me as we welcome Honorable Yakubu Ishaya. Honorable Yakubu Ishaya, you are welcome, sir. Join me as we welcome Professor and Professor Mrs. Fumi and John Akanya. You are welcome, professors. You are welcome. Join me as we welcome Honorable Afan Joseph and his wife. You are welcome, our dear brother and sister. Join me also as we welcome Honorable Nyan Daren and his wife. Nyan Daren and his wife. You're welcome. Join me, brethren, as we welcome our brother Dennis Adamu, manager of Zenith Bank here in Kafanchan. You're welcome. You're welcome. And uh, like I said, everyone is a distinguished person here. And uh, we are in for great times. But I have people from other nations here. And uh, for want of time, I will not ask you to stand up. But I will introduce the nations that are here represented. And I will also welcome people that are joining us uh, virtually. We have a lot of brethren from the Cameroons here. Pastors and members of this ministry. And indeed other people that join them to come. On behalf of our father and mother in the Lord. We welcome you to Nigeria in Jesus' name. We have our, brother, our brethren from Nijan, brethren from Chad, and uh, brethren from other nations. Please, if I don't mention your nation by name, I want you to know that we welcome you very, very warmly. I'm so excited tonight because many people are here. We also want to welcome our brethren that are all over the world listening to us. They are already hooked virtually. And uh, they, they, they are waiting. They have great expectations. I want to assure you that the expectations that you have tonight shall never be cut short. In Jesus' name. I welcome Muslims that are here. Muslims and other people of other faiths. I know there are people that have come with great expectations. And uh, your expectation shall be made, not by any man, but by God himself. Finally, I welcome our daddy and our mommy in the Lord. We welcome and we pray that God will use you to do that which he wants to do in our midst. Praise the Lord. So please relax as I hand over to the throne room voices. Relax and have great expectations. Because God has a lot of things in stock for us as we prepare to cross over. This year has been tumultuous, has been catastrophic, has been boisterous. But God has a lot of promises for us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Please can we put our hands together for Jesus one more time. As you rise on your feet, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Can you celebrate Jesus? He is the King of glory. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the one that has kept you alive. He is the one that kept you going. Can you celebrate Jesus tonight? Celebrate Yahweh. Wave unto the Lord. Wave unto Him. Wave unto Him tonight. Wave unto Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you. All we've come to say is to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You 
you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. Sujada Mokazo. Sujada Devuke Sujada Mukakao Gauba Jiji Sujada Mukazo Sujada Mukakao Gauba Kichi Mukao Sujada Vashiya Bumaisu Mumika Sujada Taking all the pain, no pain. 
You have cast away the enemy. You have cast away our fear. You have opened up the doorway. You have opened up the highway. Come and make them yours. Come and make them yours. We give you. 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 The highest. We give you. We give you. Jesus. We give you. Son of man, let this year open up tonight. We come before the king. We come before the king. And this year of the Messiah, in this year of the king. Oh, yes, Lord. Can you say, call me name? Somebody say, Lift your lights before him. Come in now. Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. Come in now, Yeshua. Call that name. That's your defense. Come in now, do not sound your alarm and throne the king of kings when sarka ke sunanka yeshua shiva hamashiak come in anakadi yeshua hamashiak Yes, turn that place to an altar. A high place for angels to come. Turn it to an altar with your sound, with your voice. Prophesy at the gates of time. Open the wells. Redig the rivers. Command the sounds. Command thrones to bow. Authorities to bow. Powers to bow. As the king has been lifted on this highway, make crooked paths straight. Tonight, make every crooked path straight. For the king comes. The king comes. Mm -hmm. Lift him up, somebody. 
with your sounds, with your hymns, with your spiritual songs and melodies. Jesus, tonight we call you Messiah of the nations. Oh my God. Sacrifices of praise before the lion and the lamb. Behold, he roars, he roars over Nigeria. Jehovah roars over Kaduna. Hey, because my altar is calling you. Oh, God. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is called, oh my God, build an altar. My altar is called. Take my praise, take my praise.
Jesus. Now, I want quiet everywhere. Quietness everywhere. Quietness everywhere. My father, the day we have waited for has come. Today, I ask you, That by the covenant and by the virtue of the sacrifice of the blood of Jesus, we invite you to descend from heaven into the earth right now. And from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth, I ask that you begin to lift away the lead every lead that has been used to cover the earth. Can you hold your amen for a moment, please? My father, the ten years the world has been waiting for is upon us at last. From 12 midnight tonight, the world shall begin to move from one end to the other. I call upon your spirit from the four winds in the name of Jesus to begin to break every nail by which the earth has been fastened, by which the earth is held bound. And release the earth to open up to heaven. And let your spirit begin a wave of change from one end of the earth to the other end. From 12 midnight tonight, let the earth turn around in Jesus' name. From 12 midnight tonight, Take each one of us and our families and place us in a new place. In the things that you are about to begin to do, let everyone receive an inheritance in Jesus' name. Can all of you raise your two hands? Can you say with me, Heavenly Father, by the blood of Jesus let there be a ransom for me I plead the sacrifice of the blood of Jesus to open the gates of heaven unto me these 10 years enter into covenant for my life that every year will bring redemption to my life and my destiny will change forever 
that these 10 years, whatsoever will not allow my gates to open, let the hand of the Lord smite that thing now and release me from every imprisonment, every cage, every power that is higher than I. Let the earth vomit them out now in Jesus' name. Can you wave to the Lord and shout, Amen? Can you wave to the Lord and shout, Amen? How many of you are happy that you have seen the end of this year? If you are happy, can you raise a shout to the Lord, somebody? To the shame of the devil, can you raise a shout to the Lord tonight? Therefore, if I be the priest of God in this holy place, your life shall no longer be left to the elements anymore. I separate your inheritance from every ordinary situation that has power more than you. Today, let the yoke of the devil be broken forever in your life. I didn't hear somebody shout, Amen. I didn't hear somebody shout, Amen. Revelations chapter 21 verse 5. You may be seated for a moment please.
immediately this year started. It is like hell had broken loose. It is like the abyss in Revelation chapter 9. That angel of the abyss, that spirit of the abyss, had broken loose from the bottomless pit and had set his cloud in the air. What many of you don't know, and I want to warn you, the earth will never be the same again. What many of you don't know is that the book of Revelation that was sealed and kept for an appointed time is being opened now. If you are a Christian, then you know what the book of Revelation carries. In Revelation 6 verse 1, the Bible says he breaked and I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals and I heard as it were the noise of thunder and one of the four be saying come and see but look at the first part of that sentence and I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals this year marked the opening of his seal listen it means that which was preordained to begin to prepare for the end of the world and the coming of, of the Messiah has begun. I want to repeat my beloved coronavirus is not ordinary. I'm holding this staff tonight. It's a long time I held it in any meeting. Because I saw the king arise from heaven. And I saw him wear his crown. When God wears his crown and begin to step out. And I saw the clouds carry him into the center of the earth. I hear... That from 2021, starting from midnight tonight, the creator of the heavens of, and the earth himself will be seated in the cycle of the earth to supervise personally everything that happens in the earth from now henceforth. Nothing again shall happen by chance nothing again from my visions nothing again there shall be no accident in your life anything that happens to you will be deliberate from the God of heaven to take you to your place so I suspend every powers of manipulation every form of witchcraft that has made you to lose control today let that witchcraft lose control in Jesus name every one of us seated here today our destinies are attached to a spirit and today we are going to invoke the power of the Holy Spirit to carry you throughout the next 10 years and you shall not stumble you will not hit your leg against a stone by the oath of the Lord your life shall be protected I didn't hear somebody say amen By 12 midnight, we are going to do something a little bit spectacular and out of place. Not normal. We are going to, for eternity, 
divide your times and seasons. We are going to make your life open up. And the Lord will step into the waters of your life. And from today, the Lord will ride your life for you. You will soon understand. But I saw the king come out with his scepter. I saw him come out as the shepherd. I saw him come out to take charge personally. He won't leave it to kings. He won't leave it to decrees. He won't leave it to governments of the earth. The earth, the control of the earth has been taken away from governments. We are going to do, begin this meeting tonight by entering into some serious and serious prayers for next year. At 12 midnight, I ordered them to bring the sea salt. This is edible. Many of you who know market will know, you would recognize this cover. At 12 midnight, I will make you just take one seed of this salt, just one or two. You don't need plenty, it's very potent. And you will drop it on your tongue. Any spell by which your life has been controlled will be broken. All the forces of nature that have taken you captive and made you to go through the wrong direction, their powers over you will be broken. The Bible says you are the salt of the earth. Listen. Every witchcraft that has been mixed up, agreement. That power of agreement in that witchcraft will be broken. I didn't hear somebody say amen. Jesus in the flesh when he was